This is Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Now from the Collins Aerospace Studio at the Nordloff Center in downtown Rockford, here's your host, Eric Wilson. Welcome to another edition of Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. It is actually our first game of the Elite Eight round. Pretty exciting. Last weekend, you saw Morrison earn our final Elite Eight spot. It's also April Fool's weekend, so happy Cheap Trick weekend for the state of Illinois. Uh, these teams are no joke, though. Let's welcome them, shall we? Belvedere North Blue Thunder are here again. <laughs> Defending champs. They made their way to the Elite Eight for the fifth straight season. They had a 260-160 win over Dixon. James led the way with nine correct buzz and questions. Nice job, James. Introduce us to your starting lineup. Uh, I'm James. This is Dannon. This is Hannah. And this is Brock. Good luck, Belvedere North Blue Thunder, taking on some familiar foes, the Belvedere Bucks. I was pausing for applause there. We do. We have a pretty large audience today. You wouldn't know it yet. Um, the Bucks scored a tournament high 470 points in their last game. Get this. David had 18 correct buzz in questions. That is a Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl record. Uh, Belvedere is looking for their fifth straight appearance in the Final Four. David's the captain. Who did you bring with you today, David? All right, I'm David. To my right is Donovan. To my near left is Lindsay. And to my far left is Gabe. We call this the Battle of the Belvedere's in nine seasons. This is the fourth time that these two teams have squared off. The last time was the final four of season seven when Belvedere North advanced to the finale. We'll see who goes to the final four after this game. We'll earn that first spot there. Our buzzing round is the way we begin the game, contestants, so grab your buzzers. Remember uh, the two most important rules of the game. Wait for me to call your name before you answer and say that answer loudly and clearly. Good luck to both of our teams. Here we go. What man who used the pseudonym Raymond S Raymond Sneed was seen fleeing from the Lorraine Motel on April 4th, David? Um, Ray. That's correct. April 4th, 1968, after shooting Martin Luther King Jr., that was James Earl Ray. What play in which the player declares we're actors, we're the opposite of people, is by Tom Stoppard and follows David? Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. That's correct, two side characters from Hamlet. What theory which predicts length, contraction, and time dilation was David? General relativity. Incorrect, I will continue for Belvedere North. Was formulated by Albert Einstein in 1905, 10 years before a general counterpart. James. Relativity. Can you be more specific? Uh, time relativity. Incorrect, special relativity. What left-wing politician served as Franklin Roosevelt's second vice president and ran as the Progressive Party nominee for president in 1948? James. Truman. Incorrect. Belvedere. Go ahead, David. Dewey. Incorrect. Dewey was part of that, though, um, part of that election. It was Wallace, Henry Wallace. What woman who was forced to marry Toussaint Charbonneau showed the Bozeman Pass to the Corps of Discovery, Donovan. Uh, Sacagawea? That is correct, as a guide for Lewis and Clark. What film whose frame story involves fortune teller Professor Marvel and nasty Miss Gulch stars Judy Garland as a girl who sings David? The Wizard of Oz. That's correct, Over the Rainbow. Broadway show Wicked is the prequel, directed by Rockford's Joe Mantello. In September 2022, a coalition led by what far-right female politician won Italy's parliamentary elections, leading to her becoming prime minister? David. Smith. Incorrect. Belvedere North. James. Garibaldi. Incorrect. Both solid guesses. Maloney. Georgia Maloney. The so-called four books of Chinese thought include what text? that compiles sayings by Confucius and James. Analects. That is correct, Confucius and his followers. What building constructed over the former Lake of the Domus Aurea features three tiers of superposed columns and was Rome's largest amphitheater? James. The Colosseum. That is correct, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater. What peptide hormone produced by alpha cells in the pancreas opposes the effect of insulin, causing, James? Glycogen. Incorrect, I'll finish for Belvedere. Causing blood sugar levels to rise. 
David. Glucose. Incorrect. You're both very close. Glucagon. What Central Asian country has been led by dictators Garbangali, Berdemu Kameoff, and Sparmarat Niyazov? James. Uzbekistan. Incorrect. Belvedere. David. Kazakhstan. Incorrect. Turkmenistan. What city whose Cardinal Zen was arrested in 2022 under a 2020 national security law is, like Macau, a special administ... James. Hong Kong. Correct. Special administrative region of China. What Arabic term refers to one of the 114 chapters of... The David. Surah. Correct. Of the Quran, such as the cow and al-Fatiha, or the opening. What author described a boy pursued by a supernatural being in The Earl King and wrote about the demon James? Goethe. Correct. The demon Mephistopheles in the 1808 German play Faust. And that's how we end the round with that last question correct for Belvedere North. We have a tie game. Kind of exciting to watch. Maybe not so exciting for these contestants. Maybe more nerve-wracking than exciting. That's one round in. Three more to play. Our volleyball is next. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our Elite Eight game here between the Belvedere's, Belvedere North and Belvedere. Belvedere is on top right now. We, uh, we have a score correction. When we went to that break, scores were 40-40. Um, our score machine was just uh, one question behind, so it's actually 50-40. to 40. Belvedere is on top. Before we get to our volleyball round, special thank you to a longtime supporter of Burks from St. Lane Quiz Bowl, our judge today, the retired president and CEO of the Greater Rockford Growth Partnership. That's Einer Forsman. Einer, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. All right, volleyball round is conferring contestants, so work as a team. We encourage it, but the answers have to come from the captains. James, you and the Blue Thunder get the first question this week in volleyball. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. What author won a Newbery Medal for her 2019 novel about a Cuban-American girl attending Seward Pines Academy, Merci Suarez Changes Gears? You guys know. Sanchez. Meg Medina. Belvedere's first question of the, game, or of the round. What state, which is home to the Fossil Butte and Devil's Tower National Monuments, is the least populous state and includes the city of Cheyenne? Wyoming. That's right. Seems like you knew that one relatively quickly. Back over to North. Mark Felt was the real identity of what anonymous high-ranking source who fed information to the Washington Post during the Watergate scandal? Deep Throat. That is correct. That name was actually kept secret until 2005. Those are North's first points of this round. Belvedere, what politician and former presidential candidate went to Cancun during a 2021 power crisis and is a Canadian-born senator from Texas? Ted Cruz. That is correct. Back over to North. What law states the entropy of a perfect crystal reaches its minimum value of zero when the temperature is absolute zero? Gauss's law. Incorrect. The third law of thermodynamics. Back to Belvedere. What holiday which honors the defeat of Charles de Lorencey at the 1862 Battle of Puebla has become an American celebration of Mexican culture? Cinco de Mayo. And that's correct. Many people mistakenly think that's for Mexican Independence Day. It is not. Back to Belvedere North. In 2022, Ivan Shoinar, the founder of what outdoor clothing retailer, donated his ownership of the company to a trust to fight climate change. I think it's Patagonia. Patagonia? You got it. Yep, James, that one was yours. I'll give you the credit. He called it instead of going public. We are going purpose. Back over to Belvedere. What nine-letter term from the Greek for falling off provides the scientific name for baby teeth as well as trees that shed leaves in autumn? Deciduous. Deciduous? Yes. You knew that one quickly, too. I think that was Donovan who weighed in. Nice work. Back over to Belvedere North. What term for using acid to clean metal surfaces also names a technique of preserving vegetables in a brine or vinegar solution? Pickling? Correct. When you do this to cucumbers, you get pickles. Back to Belvedere. In what sport whose women's event was won by Eve Muirhead's team at Beijing 2022, do players guide stones 
toward a target curling. on ice using brooms. Curling. That is curling, yep, you got it. You're in triple digits, back to Belvedere North. What word can refer to a genre of Cuban songs, a Spanish dance in 3-4 time, or a 1928 piece dominated by a ostinato motif? What is it? Um, yeah. Tango? Incorrect. Bolero. And that's how we end the round. So a little bit more of a spread now for Belvedere. They are up to 100 points. Belvedere North has 70. Halfway through our game means you get to play at home with our Bergstrom bonus question. We'll be back with the answer right after this. Which actor is best known for playing Andy Dwyer on Parks and Rec and Peter Quill in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies? Our battle of the Belvedere's has Belvedere on top right now with 100 points. Belvedere North has 70. This question won't change the scores at all, but it may fill some stomachs with pizza and pasta from Lino's of Rockford. This is our Bergstrom bonus question. If you're watching at home, you already saw the question. Our contestants have not. Hands on your buzzers, contestants. Let me know if you know the answer to this. Which actor is best known for playing Andy Dwyer on Parks and Rec and Peter Quill, Don Dannon? Chris Pratt. That is correct. Peter Good Quill, job. Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy movie. At least today. At least I've never lost. Chris Pratt's voice hits theaters this weekend in the Super Mario's movie as he takes over, Super Mario Brothers movie, he takes over the role of the Goomba stopping plumber Mario. No matter what happens in this game, Dan, and you are the team's hero because you won that pizza party at Lino's. Nice job. We're going to take a commercial break and come back with our Nika IBEW license. Time for our Nika IBEW lightning round where there are lots of points on the line. It's also the fastest round in the game. Here's where our scores sit right now for that first spot in the final four. Belvedere has 100, Belvedere North has 70. And Belvedere gets first choice this week. So David, your three categories in lightning are Greek mythological monster slayers, sports venues, or world currencies. Sports venues. You got it. You jumped on that sports category very quickly. I'm guessing you have a sports expert up there. We will find out. <laughs> Given a sports stadium or arena, name the city in which it is located. I'll name the arena. You give me the city. This could go quickly. 60 seconds to go through these 10. And then, James, you and the team will have 30 seconds to get to whatever they don't. Advice for both teams, you can pass. Don't, let, don't eat up too much time on one question. Let the clock keep running. David, are you ready for your first one? Given a sports stadium or arena, name the city in which it is located. Madison Square Garden. New York. Correct. Wrigley Field. Chicago. Correct. Center Court, where the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament is held. London. Correct. Caesars Superdome. New Orleans. Correct. Coors Field. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Incorrect. Chase oh. Center, home of the Warriors. Los Angeles. Incorrect. Arrowhead Stadium. Kansas City. Kansas City. Correct. Rogers Center, previously known as the Sky Dome. Pass. Pass. MLS's Lower.com Field and a college football stadium known as the Horseshoe. Pass. PPG Paints Arena, which replaced the Igloo. Minneapolis. Incorrect. Rogers Center, and that's our time. So you got four of them correct, right? Five, one, two, three, four, five. You're up to 150. So half of them are left for you, and you've got half the time, James. Are you ready? If you've been paying attention, maybe this will go fast for you. Who knows? Um, you've got 30 seconds on the clock. You all ready? All ready yep. to go? Here's your first one. Given a sports stadium or arena, name the city in which it is located. Coors Field. Denver. Correct. Chase Center, home of the Warriors. San Francisco. Correct. Rogers Center, previously known as the Sky Dome. Toronto. Correct. MLS's Lower.com Field and a college football stadium known as the Horseshoe. Austin. Incorrect. PPG Paints Arena, which replaced the Igloo. Uh, Minneapolis. Incorrect. It's worth an answer. The time will we'll stop the clock there. Only two unanswered questions. MLS is Lower.com Field, the college football stadium known as the Horseshoe. Horseshoe is a nickname for the Ohio Stadium, where Ohio State plays football. That's in Columbus. And the PPG Paints Arena, which replaced the Igloo, it's where the Penguins play. That's in Pittsburgh. 
So there's two categories left for you, James and the Blue Thunder. Those are Greek mythological monster slayers and world currencies. World currencies. All right, we'll leave those monster slayers over to the side. Identify the official currency of these countries. This could go fast. I'll name the country, you name the currency. 60 seconds, 100 points is on the line. You're down by 50 right now. Are you ready for your first one? Yep. Identify the official currency of these countries. United Kingdom. Pound. Correct. Japan. Yen. Correct. Brazil. Pass. Switzerland. Euro. Incorrect. India. Rupee. Correct. Turkey. Uh, pass. China. Pass. South Africa. Rand. Correct. South Korea. Pass. Poland. Euro. Incorrect. Brazil. Peso. Incorrect. Turkey. Pass. China. Pass. South Korea, and that's our time. It's a good tra strategy. You passed on those. You didn't waste too much time on there. You've got 40 more points added to your yeah, score. Okay. So you're now you're down by 10. Belvedere, there's six left. So 60 points could boost you to 210. It's quick math there. David, are you ready for your first one? Uh, yes. Okay. The identify the official currency of these countries. Brazil. Pass. Switzerland. Euro. Incorrect. Turkey. Shilling? Incorrect. China. Pass. South Korea. One. Correct. Poland. Euro. Incorrect. Brazil. Dollar. Incorrect. China. And that's our time. Those 30 seconds, are, when there's a lot on the line, those 30 seconds go by quickly. So you added one, you're up to 160. I'll quickly go through these that no one got. Brazil, uh, peso is probably a pretty good guess, right? That's the real. Switzerland is the Swiss franc. Turkey is the lira. China, we would have taken two here. Uh, the renmin, renminbi or the yuan. And Poland was the zwati or zlati. We would have taken either of those pronunciations. So it's a 20 point game as we head into our final round for that first seat in the final four between our Belvedere's. Belvedere has 160, Belvedere North has 140. We'll finish up our game right after this. Oh man, this is how a late round game should be in Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Basically one question separates our two teams because that's how much each of these questions are worth in our final round, 20 points. Belvedere is on top with 160. Belvedere North has 140 with our first seat in the final four on the line. Again, with a game this close, the two most important rules, contestants, wait for me to say your name before you answer and say that answer loudly and clearly. Good luck. Here we go with our first question and final challenge. What author described a yellow fog that rubs its back? James. Uh. I'll finish for Belvedere. Rubs its back upon the window panes in a 1915 poem that also asks, do I dare to eat a peach? David. Eliot? You got it. That's right. T.S. Eliot, the poem is the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. What compound produced by archaea in the guts of termites and cows is a greenhouse gas? Oh, David. Methane? Yes, 30 times more potent than CO2 as the formula CH. Four. Two in a row, you're up to 200. What man whom Joseph Welch asked if he had no sense of decency, David? McCarthy. Correct. Wisconsin Senator who ran 1950s investigations into communist infiltration. Three in a row. The aria Unbeldi is sung in what Giacomo Puccini opera in which the Chocho san devoutly. James. Madam Butterfly. Correct. Waits nice. for the return of naval officer Pinkerton. First points of that round for you, Belvedere North. What author of the novel No Country for Old Men also, James. McCarthy. Correct, wrote about the extremely violent Cl Glanton game in Blood Meridian, two in a row. What region in which orbital resonances cleared the Kirkwood gaps? 
David? The asteroid belt. Correct. Lies about two to four AU from the sun between Mars and Jupiter. What composer of the jazz standards Groove and High and Salt Peanuts? <laughs> Lindsay? Gillespie. Correct. Nice. Known for playing with puffed out cheeks on a trumpet with a bent bell. What businessman and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate co-founded the centrist forward party? <laughs> Lindsay? Bloomberg. Incorrect. I'll finish for North in 2022. James. Yang. You got it. Right before the buzzer. Andrew Yang. What beings in Greek myth who included Hyperion and the great river Oceanus? Danon. Titans. Correct. Ruled the world under Cronus before being toppled by the Olympians. Anacapa, Santa Cruz, and Catalina are islands in what archipelago off the coast of Southern California? Danon. Channel Islands. That is correct. What literary work which describes the drought of March being ended by April rains and which portrays many pilgrims was written by Jeffrey Dannon? Uh, Canterbury Tales. You got it right before the buzzer, written by Jeffrey Chaucer. Henry Morgan, a 17th century British privateer who plundered Spanish shipping in the Caribbean, operated out of Port Royal in what, James? Jamaica. That is correct. That is the island country. What co-founder of Ireland's Abbey Theatre wrote the 1920s plays Juno and the Paycock? James? Yates. Incorrect. I'll finish for Belvedere. Juno and the Paycock, The Shadow of a Gunman, and The Plow and the Stars. Go ahead, David. Wild. Incorrect. Sean O'Casey. And that's the end of the round. By one question, our reigning champs, Belvedere North, are moving on. Doesn't get much tighter than that. Um, great job to both of our teams. Um, you can see it in your faces. This is the hardest part of the game when we have to say goodbye to teams. Uh, Belvedere, you played a fantastic game. Uh, how many of you are seniors? None of you. So that means the core of this team will be back next year. Uh, and again, to put up some impressive points because you played a fantastic game. Uh, and James and the team, you're chewing your gum a little bit faster, I think, now, right? Once, once you get down to the wire like that, that's all right. That's, you, you do what you got to do. Um, Fantastic game. You are moving on to play the winner of next week's game, which is uh, Marengo versus Auburn. We hope to see you for that. I'm Bert from State Line Quiz Bowl.